as a seer, I get my readings, my prophecies, my visions, etc. in a myriad of ways. They can come by way of dream, on the astral plane. They can come by way of spiritual impression. It can come by way of just a knowing. Well, I'm going to share with you one of two people in my life who committed suicide. How I tapped into and literally felt what they were feeling and thinking and what was going on when they committed suicide. This one is a former co-worker. This is someone that I had worked with for about two years. A very happy, jolly-go-lucky type of guy. Everybody liked him. He would go out of his way to help anybody. We didn't know a lot about him because he didn't speak much about his private life. But he would always speak about his little girl. His little girl was about four or five years old at the time. She was the love of his life. He would just beam and come alive whenever he speak about his little girl. But we also knew that he was dealing with a series of health challenges. So much so that when he would get sick, he would be out weeks and months at a time. Now keep in mind these health challenges had gone on for years up until the point when he ended his life. He was so sick so frequently and out of work, unable to work, that things got so hard and he had become desperate. He started doing illegal things to make ends meet. And ultimately, the law caught up with him. From what I was told, the law went to his house to arrest him. He was very clear on what was happening. And instead of them taking him in, which he did not want to be taken in, he had given up all hope. He went in the bathroom and committed suicide. The very next day when I had gotten to work and word had gotten around about his suicide, everyone was shocked and devastated. And I remember thinking about his little girl, what life would be like without her having her father who loved her dearly. And I kept thinking about him. Now, I would pick up that he had challenges and things like that, but I didn't pick up that he would do anything like that. And I kept thinking maybe there could have been something had I picked up, I could have said, I could have done to intervene. And interestingly enough, his suicide was on my mind all day. I even went to bed with him and his little girl on my mind. Well, somewhere in between the sleep and wake state, I heard a gunshot. And it sounded like it was at a distance in an echo chamber. Then I heard the gunshot again and again. And every time I heard the gunshot, it was getting louder as if it was coming towards me. And it was getting louder and louder and louder like this. By the time the last pile came, I felt it. I felt the impression, my right temple. I felt the sting. And I instantly knew it was the person who had committed suicide. Not only did I feel the gunshot, the first sting, the pressure, and, um, and I smelt the gunpowder. I got his thoughts and his last thought was his little girl and the regret. He instantly regretted doing it somewhere in between like a millimeter of a second. And what that did was create a schism. And in his mind, he created a loop where he was literally shooting himself in the head over and over and over and over again. And I had unintentionally tapped into that by thinking about him, unintentionally tapped into his energy and felt and experienced what he was experiencing and thinking and feeling in that moment. I had never got an impression or a premonition or a revelation like that. That was the first time there was another and it involved a suicide. The reason why I'm sharing this story with you guys is because Hey, I understand. I've been in that place of having suicidal thoughts. Quite honestly, many of us have or will. 
And thank goodness those years are far behind me. But I'm here to tell you, suicide is not a way out. Now, thank goodness that brother is out of that loop. That loop created when he was regretting what he had done. That loop he was caught in, that cycle looping over and over again, was his first realization that killing himself was not going to rid him of the pain and everything he had to go through and learn and heal for himself. Thankfully, he is out of the loop, but his journey towards self-healing and self-realization continues. So I say to you guys, if you are having suicidal thoughts or feeling like you want to end your life, get the help. The help is out there. Fight through it. I am a living witness. And I have not felt depression or had suicidal thoughts since I was in my early 20s. I am here to tell you that you can push through, fight through, and heal. You just have to set the intention to do so and be diligent about it.